teams then, Santos against Colo Colo. I'm John Champion and providing match analysis throughout the game, Jim Beglin. set Santos against Colo Colo a crucial intervention there a timely intervention Leo Quickly closed down. Aruka. The ball threaded through, strikes it. A goal for Santos. And there's the first goal of the game. It was all down to the control. When you can produce a first touch that is as good as that, you're on a winner. It was all done with constant ease. That's just lovely to watch. A beautiful flow. They've gone ahead so early in the game. Emiliano Vecchio. He tried going it alone, but without success. Oh, the fans will be annoyed with that. They tried to walk it in. Aruka. Leo. Over the line for a throw in. Aruka. He hits it. Well, with this guy and the talent he's got, you know he's probably going to try his look from there, but that one he didn't really get right at all. He did well to get it. What next? Real chance! Well, to call that wayward would be being kind. Yeah, the first touch was the thing to pick out there. That was really nice, but what followed was a big disappointment, and you know now what he needs to work on. Tries to slide it past the defence. Can he now find a finish? You have to admire that control. He's not taking any risks there. A poor clearance, and it's been picked up. Slides it through. A robust challenge, to say the least. Good opportunity for a cross here. And he's there to clear it. Emiliano Vecchio. Steals the ball. Rafael Gallardo. Plays it upfield. 
no, no way through there. Rafael Gallardo. We are entering stoppage time. The referee blows his whistle to signal half-time. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Just one goal, the difference between them. Santos get the second half going. Pumps it upfield. He did well to get it. What next? Driven in. Polo Polo have a free kick for that. Listen, when you're a goal down, you'll be glad of any free kick situation that presents itself. And this has to be a real chance to draw level. Pass needed to be better there. Emiliano Vecchio. And the decision is offside. He got the man there, that's a free kick. And it's hit forward. That's not going to make it through. Steals it. Just the keeper in his way, and he makes absolutely no mistake. It's a two goal lead now. Well, what can you say about that goal? Look, I don't want to take anything away from the finish because it goes to his way into position. But where was the communication in that defense? Who was taking charge? Nobody. It's 2 0. Well, at 1 0, this game was very much in the balance, but at 2 0, they ought to be able to defend this lead from here. And that's been intercepted. Here's a shot. Nearly, but in football terms, nearly is nowhere. Well, for me, he had a very decent track at it, but it has to be said that the odds on those from distance were never really that good, and you'd always favour the keeper in that instance. Emiliano Vecchio. Hopeful faces waiting in the middle. Gets the ball in a nice position. He can't be too happy with that. Well, at least they've given themselves some hope with a shot from distance, but the keeper will welcome those all day. That's not going to trouble him. Tops it upfield. Kicked off. Slickly done that. Can he find a finish? Wax it. That is wayward. Oh, he read the situation really well, but just couldn't apply the finish.
Aruka knocks it forward. A long ball forward, and that won't be making it through. And that's come to nothing. What can Santos do here? Chance! Eduardo Lobos wins the battle and emerges with the ball. We're into the last five minutes. Aruka plays it wide towards the byline. He's found space, he wants to get a cross in from here, and a header, there it is, they lead by three, and that may just about be that. A gem of a cross, and a straightforward header. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the area of the party, this fella is definitely no slouch. Away. now three goals behind the referee brings the game to a close we've seen some fantastic finishing from this team with real attacking class throughout their opponents didn't stand a chance I think some of the players are going to be a bit sore after that there was so much passion and commitment out there I can't remember anyone shirking the tackle so thank you Jim as we bid you farewell from this afternoon's broadcast